Whoa. Oh my god. Ew, can we stop? Whoa. Gluttonous behavior. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 48 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, The Oath in the Tunnel. Last episode we saw Lan Fawn came back to take down Gluttony and save the day. And that's where we're jumping in this episode. If you're excited for this episode, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon link in the description below to see episodes early, including these episodes, which are all posted in their extended uncut forms. Are we excited for episode 48 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Oh, we're just getting right, right into it. it. That new auto mail is sick. Wow. That's the one thing that they don't seem to be able to. Me? I don't <laughs> want to die anymore. <laughs> Like, oh, my lord, we can catch up later. Let's finish them off. Right. I wonder how she's going to react to knowing that he's freed in the ring now. You know, not just laying mm -hmm. here. And like, is that going to affect his understanding really of what he's out for? That's mm -hmm. so woman you got. I didn't know you were such a stud. Where have you been hiding her all this time? Well, you know, I'm full of surprises. <laughs> I love Ling. It. It's so dark here. So how, how do you know where I am? You can't see me. How are you? Why does he think he can't be seen? It, it's it's pitch black right now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I was like, I can see it just fine. <laughs> yes, because they didn't want us to make the scene just a black screen. <laughs> I mean, that would be a choice. Allows him to govern the flow of our kingdom. What? As the Interesting. Servants of our ruler, we too are trained to read the flow of chi. Not only that, we're also trained to act in the darkness. <laughs> I recognize that voice. <laughs> Long time no see, huh, kid? So chi is the dragon's breath, like, it's like the force. But wait, how are you able to find us? We've been hiding out in Central, trying to keep an eye on things for a while now. We detected several large chi converging out here, so we followed them. There are two enormous forms of chi battling nearby. That must be greed and gluttony you're sensing. Mm. Greed, huh? The one who swallowed the young lord. Mm. And then there's another large chi within the forest. Our companion is fighting a homunculus called Pride out there. Hmm. There's one more in the settlement nearby, and there's something disappointing oh, and about that one. It seems to dwarf the others in comparison. That's probably Ed's father. You think so? Are you saying that your father isn't human? <laughs> Trust me, he's the least of our concerns right now. We've got to figure out how to deal with <laughs> the these face. homunculi. You don't have to worry about Gluttony. Lanfan's dealing with him. Lanfan is fighting Gluttony? She can 1v1 on. Gluttony? It hasn't even been a full seven months since her auto mail was attached. That's crazy, old man. She's not gonna last without help. 
Like, what's the end goal here? Whoa. I think just this, I guess? Deplete his lives. When is it my turn to be happy? Take another player out of the game. Okay. I said not to worry. We have resources besides hand-to-hand -hand combat. Give us yeah. a warning next time! Yeah. Yeah. What's what going that? on? Something exploded. Was that in the forest? Why aren't the lights back? Hey! Was that in the forest? <laughs> <coughs> Damn. Oh no, right. they said, hey, get a lamp. That eases my Fuck. Mind a that just hit me. They're gonna be like, what's wrong? Tell me something. What That's all so do you helpful. have besides explosives? Hmm? All sorts of things. Tear gas bombs, flash bombs, flares. The lights are starting to come back on. Which means Pride can use the shadows again. We need to get over there and help Michael. Yeah. How's that fight going? Can you help me? I need you to detect Pride's chi and lead me to him. I could really use your help, old man. Watch yourself, kid. Don't forget what pride is, all right? How's he still just not dealing any damage? I think they're setting up that somebody's taken Al's body now. Ed has to fight him eventually. Mm -hmm. Don't forget what pride is, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid your hunch was right on the money. He may look like a cute little brat, but Selim Bradley's not human. How old are these photos? 20 years? And this one is over 50 years old. And he's with a government official in every one of these. That's so weird to look like a kid for 50 years. Yeah. I decided to check into the Fuhrer's supposed hometown as well. They've got plenty of records showing that he was born and raised there. But I couldn't find a single resident who's even seen the Bradley family. Their mansion is just a hollow facade. And of course there aren't any relatives. I appreciate this, Madam Christmas. It couldn't have been easy to get this intel. Yeah. Although, as soon as I found out Selim Bradley wasn't human, well, my exhaustion didn't seem to matter anymore. Hmm. I gotta wonder, how hasn't any of this gotten out before? Because he has a father named King, who happens to be the most powerful man in the country. They can hide anything they want, fabricate anything. That's true. Huh. It's interesting. Fabricate anything isn't a lie. Also, they can literally construct things because they're on yeah. The He's trying to play on his like morality, you know, not to attack a kid. Who is oh, no. that? Is someone out there? A monster! Oh no! It's got a kid! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, and the flames on the... Damn. Damn it. You cannot be serious. I'm glad they shed some light for us. Now let's shed some of your blood. Goodbye, Chimera. Oh no, I think he's gonna die. Oh, no. Just in the nick of time, Pops. <clears throat> Who would have thought a little kid like this could be a homunculus? I admit you fooled me, Celine Bradley. Appearances rarely show the whole truth. Isn't that right, little alchemist? <laughs> now where were we? 
Excuse me, he's taller than Winry now. He's not little anymore. Unless Winry's just like super short. Where yeah. Is Where's Mustang? He's still in the bar. He doesn't usually spend this much time in there. The woman who owns the bar, Madam Christmas, her real name is Chris Mustang. She's his foster mother. <laughs> oh. Chris Mustang. Oh. That's funny. Whoa. Nice. It's an explosion. Well, not nice to the explosion, but the pun. There you go. Yeah. My poor little chateau. I'm sorry it had to be this way, but I'll buy you a new one. Well, you've got some time to do it. It's probably best if I lay low for a while. And what about all of the girls that work for you? Of course you're worried about them. Well, don't concern yourself too much. They're off sunbathing in an exotic locale. And I doubt they're thinking of you. <laughs> now get focused. There's too He's much like, I don't know about that one. You need to be thinking about saving this country. Yeah, we need a mind like Mustangs here. Mm -hmm. Your behavior is most suspicious. And the next time I see you, you better not be inside a body bag and marked as a dissident. I won't be happy with you. Thanks for everything, madam. I promise that I'll repay you. Oh, so you'll remember me when you've made it big? <laughs> well, I guess I'll have something to look forward to then, won't I? <laughs> I really wish you'd stop treating the me The pun like name is amazing. Right? <laughs> All right, so Mustang has a plan. All right, then. Guess I better get moving. Full Metal Alchemist. Hmm, what could he be doing? Full Metal Alchemist. I think he's just trying to get to the middle of everything, the central. Mm-hmm. But... Some more tunnel stuff, maybe? Yeah. Ew. Gotta love when we don't get a cutaway and we actually get to see what he's doing. Yeah. About hey! Time, okay. Didn't think you were gonna show. You keep up with the smart-ass comments. I'll take them as a sign of confidence. You made sure that you weren't followed? Yes. And if we had been, this little guy would have alerted us. Good boy. You keep your nose peeled, okay? Oh. What are the oh, not a great guys? visual, but a funny idea. Yeah. Itinerary for the next three days. Now there's your eyes Fuhrer being peeled. Observe the training in the east. Salim joined him for the trip as well. Then you haven't heard the news. The Fuhrer's train was destroyed with the Fuhrer riding in it. <laughs> we'll all be damned. Old man Grumman doesn't like to take any chances, does he? That means that security is going to be elevated now. This could be even more difficult than we thought that it would be. I can't believe he outsmarted the Fuhrer. How much is this going Fuhrer. to affect our mission? Yeah, that's crazy. Is the Eastern yeah. Battalion still going to invade Central as planned? All we know is that the Fuhrer is missing. This is either a once-in-a-lifetime chance, or we're walking into a trap. Yeah. It doesn't really make a difference. We've got to see this thing through. And both are very real Your possibilities. Orders. Yeah. Whatever action we may take, we're heading straight for the battlefield. And no matter the outcome, there's no turning back. Even if we win, this mission still won't be close to completion. Not until we rebuild this nation. With me as the Fuhrer, we'll still have the task of setting things right. In other words, I'm only giving you a single order to obey. Don't die! Understood? Nice. Sir! All right. The squad has been assembled and the oath has been made. Don't die. It's classic oath. Can't kill him, but... What is this? Why can't I cut him? Huh. Is it a special metal? Yeah. Whoa. This animation is crazy. He's so powerful. Whoa. It looks like I made the right decision by keeping my Northern Auto Mail after all. This carbon fiber base has turned out to be pretty handy. A carbon 
in this. So he's taking a chew from greed. Oh. Back to plan A then. Get now. Yep. So he can just keep Al asleep. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of what it seems like. What's yeah, the matter? It's terrible. You're not giving up, are you? <laughs> you brought this on yourself. And he's never beaten him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh crap! I just remembered that. I figured this might give me the advantage, unless you want to destroy your brother. Now, old man. Whoa. Oh. A flash bomb. No. No shadow. Interesting. That was okay. so smart. What's that? That was a really smart idea. Yeah. Lanfan, what's wrong? Lanfan. Conscious. You gotta get him out of here now. And you're positive he's not still possessed? Yeah, I've noticed that if you sever a part of their body, it disintegrates into dust. Yeah. The flash bomb severed the shadows holding Al's body, so he's free from Pride's grasp. You're not getting away! Oh. Did you see that bright light, Pride? Huh? Nice. Wait, I just thought of something and I'm gonna forget it and I don't know go to. for it go for it okay what'd you think of so pride was banking on Ed viewing Al as his brother yeah even in the metal suit because Ed has only ever viewed Al as his brother regardless of what he looks like having the metal suit come at him is kind of he has no problem throwing like flash bombs and stuff because it's like unrelated so pride's weakness is pretty much daytime <laughs> They've really roughed you up. Yeah, but only because Greed and that girl weren't fighting fair. They were both doing something so they could see me in the dark. Because they don't Is know about so? Alcast Green and Chi mm -hmm. from the Dragon's Breath. She must be the warrior from Shin, the one Wrath had an encounter with. She can sense our presence. And Greed must have turned his body over to the Shinese prince in order to do the same. How pathetic. <laughs> oh. Gluttony. Hate that. Huh? Not a fan. How many times have they killed you now? Mouth stuff. I lost count. But I know it was a lot, though. They've they killed him a lot. pretty badly as well. The way things are going. There's a very real chance they might annihilate us. Yeah, but that's okay, because Father will fix us. He's going to take over Gluttony. No! Please don't do it, Pride! Whoa. Oh, my God. Can we stop? Whoa. Gluttonous behavior. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Pride! Don't eat me! It hurts! Please help me! Pride has gluttony. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is Pride now gluttonous or something? Wait, what? That. And he kept licking his lips. Oh. He had anger before. Now showing gluttony. Make things much easier. I can practically smell every movement you make. 
Now he, he has the, the power to... Hunger, but I suppose I'll just have to see it. Oh, wait. I what is Father going to think of this? You're somewhere close by, aren't you? Hohenheim. Okay. All right. That was crazy. That was really good. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sure there's a post credit scene. I'm so Gluttony's without. gone. That's going to be a weird, like, control dynamic. And I don't think Father wanted that. Independent choice. Yeah. And yeah. okay. And that was a gluttonous act to devour Gluttony. Mm -hmm. And already showed anger. So pr something is up with Pride. Personally, I think that somehow Pride's going to try to do what Father did this time. And be like, oh, well, now instead of me being in a flask, I'm going to escape. But anyway, let's totally see if see there's it. a post credit scene. From what we've uncovered, Mustang's gathered his subordinates and is sneaking around. Mustang's got to have something to do with the Fuhrer's train. Hell, he's probably the one behind the Ishvalans pouring into the city. I doubt that it's a coincidence. It does seem like it's all perfectly timed. Then where do we find him? You're all more experienced with the way this Mustang character operates than I am. What would you predict to be his next plan of action? The fact that he's not down in the basement's interesting. Yeah, right? If I Armstrong's gonna place. Well, I would most likely take the Fuhrer's wife as a hostage. Why bother doing such a thing? He must know that's futile. So he's going to take a pointless hostage and make sure that he's branded as a traitor. Even further proof that humans are relentlessly ridiculous creatures. Circle's really ridiculously obvious now. Yeah. So they are taking her hostage. Okay. Or maybe Armstrong wanted... Is Armstrong in on this plan? Like... Huh. That seems Sorry like to too good of a coincidence, a right? My apologies. What's going on, Lieutenant? Why would you do something like this? Please forgive us for startling you like this. I need you to come with me, Madam Fuhrer. We have no intention of harming you. They're going to reveal to her the truth, I bet. Huh. Please. Do you think she'll even it's hear it, though? Yes. And you know what I'm thinking about? What happened when they took away Greed's one thing that he cared about? Your son enjoys being held hostage. That or he's supremely stupid. That's crossing a line, Pride. Don't ever mock my son. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Hohenheim's gonna fight. That was episode 48 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, Pride's on a little bit of a power trip. I'm wondering how Father's gonna, what he's gonna think about that. Yeah, and now that it's like, you know, it's Pride going up against the Prutney. I don't even know what the, the Pride gluttony. Now he can smell them, but like, what does that really give him in terms of power? You know, does he have that stomach thing now? Can he like open up? Yeah create a void. It's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out, but that was it for episode 48. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode. Check out the Patreon link in the description below to see episodes early, including these episodes, which are all posted in their extended uncut forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one. Titan asks, Mustang just kicked the hornet's nest with this decision to kidnap Miss Bradley. But do you think this decision might come back to bite him in a way? And if so, what do you think might happen? My initial instinct is that it's going to come back to bite him in the ass. However, I feel like a 
pretty common thing for Mustang is to do something where it seems like he's trying to pull something. And then at the very end, it's like revealed how it was like a ploy the whole time. And it was like proven that yeah. he wasn't actually like, oh, yeah, I, I kidnapped her. But it was for her own safety and to get these people like out of this building because they were going to be. Yeah, you I know, actually just have like some away. weird. All right, let's um, hear it. So Armstrong learns Salim Bradley is a homunculus who is related slash connected to Salim Bradley. His mom and his dad are mm -hmm. like the two big people. It was actually a shock to Mustang that Wrath was destroyed in that train. That was not a coordinated attack. I think he was counting on the Fuhrer like actually not being killed. Okay. And I was thinking that potentially somehow Hawkeye learned that the only thing Wrath chose was his wife when she was his assistant. Remember mm -hmm. that scene? Yeah. I think Hawkeye relayed that to Mustang and Mustang is like, okay, this is going to be the one thing that can get him out of the okay. hiding. And somehow maybe by telling her the plan, she can try to convince him and it'll cause enough turmoil to mess up Wrath. Like maybe this is his way of trying to take down the Rook of Father, which would be Wrath. Do you think there's ever a situation where they convince her that her husband and child are both homunculi? Like how would that go over? I think the only way to do it would be to show not tell type thing like somehow like get her to see that Salim's like that or something and the other thing I think about is how would you even prove that King Bradley's a homunculus right he has one soul if he killed him he would die mm -hmm. maybe revealing his eye the ultimate eye but we're gonna have to see let's go to question two Miss Sunflower 94 asks what are your thoughts on gluttony's ending and also pride's relationship with his quote-unquote siblings well not the greatest relationship no. I'll say it's odd because like all of this time has passed and Pride hasn't done anything like this. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle of a fight, he decided to take gluttony, like to take one seventh of the, or really one like fourth of the homunculi yeah. they have remaining. Like, I wonder what exactly like got him to the point where he was gonna do that. I mean, he started licking yeah, his lips. Cause he randomly. did not take a lot of time to think that over. And he I feel like that's gluttonous. such a big decision. Yeah. What happened? Very there? weird. Because if it happened like directly after he consumed him, it would be like, oh, okay, like so now yeah. he's gluttonous. But it happened right before. Yeah, it's really weird. I think it definitely confirms that Pride is not fully on the same page as Father. Yeah. Pride is definitely acting in his own. It, the way that Gluttony died seems final in a way, which is weird. I don't know. It's going to be weird to see what exactly Pride meant by that, What like whether that was part of the plan, but Gluttony seemed very shocked. Well, that might have been betrayal, though, not necessarily finality. Although it, I totally could see it being what you think it is. Huh. And also it was interesting that Gluttony was like, oh yeah, we'll go back to father and he'll remake us. And he goes, no, I think I'm going to do this. Like yeah. it was very much like, I'm not going to go the father route. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, not the greatest sibling dynamic and RIP no. Gluttony. All right. I think that's about it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Are we excited for episode 49 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Can't wait. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.